put it into Navisworks, which like I said, I don't think many people are familiar with Navisworks. Revit is more, I guess, for designers, your, your architects, your structural engineers. Uh, you know, you can design mechanical systems in, in Revit MEP, electrical systems. Um, but, you know, I use, it, I use it to just mainly build an architectural model. And then, basically, I imported, you can see the steels in there now, and, and there's some crazy steel on this, uh, on this guy. The steel is in there now. I imported the steel model, the fire protection model, the MEP, or the MEP models, you name it, all into this. And you can kind of see, you know, what I, what I deal with on a daily basis is, is coordinating where these systems are running. I mean, because when, for the most part, I don't know if you guys understand this, but when, when an electrical engineer, when a mechanical engineer, when everybody lays out their stuff, they don't necessarily go, you know, I mean, an electrical engineer, their stuff's so small, sometimes they don't care where it's going, they just put it going wherever. You know, the ducts, your plumbing, all that, they don't necessarily get with each other and, and decide, okay, this needs to go here. And even their, even, even their drawings are not going to be exactly what the system, you know, where the, where the super, or the subcontractor goes. So, so I'm basically in here finding clashes between all these models and the steel. You know, they don't even know the steel changes. Um, you know, we this is a design build project, so we don't even have. You know, the steel has changed several times, and when they build their models, they're not going to change it every time. So we're coordinating, making sure making sure there's no clashes in the uh, in the system. And you can kind of see if I take you through one of the earlier changes on this, on this bottom structure, you can see we went to joint because this is a level five museum quality thing. They, they're 14 foot ceilings in these galleries and the, and the bottom of the steel is only 17 feet. So there is not a Not a lot of room to work with above the ceiling, and so we went. You know, an early an early change in this project was we went straight to joist to bar joist rather than beam, uh, so we could get through these things. See, and if you can see, you know, you got a lot a lot of these pipes connecting ducts are running through the steel joist rather than rather than the beams that were originally laid out. Um, Kind of see all the different elements. You know, you can see the HVAC in here. That red is that red is our fire suppression system. Uh, those guys are notorious for uh, saying for not going the way they're supposed to. Uh, but but you can kind of see the level of intricacy intricacy that's going into this thing just above the ceiling, getting everything off of each other. And we have what well, we have coordination meetings where I'll I'll go through. Here's a clash, and in this building, ducts are so big, they're they're always going to take precedence. So, so, Mr. Fire Protection Man, I need you to move your stuff out. You need to you need to find another route to get to where you need to go. And like I said.